Hello everyone, welcome back to the journey as we continue on in Hogwarts Legacy. In the last video we got to go to the Forbidden Forest and we fought a lot of spiders, some statues. Then we met up with an ancient magician, Percival Rackham, I believe his name was. And we need the book that we got in the restricted section, which Professor Fig has. We need to put that on the pedestal that was in the room where Percival Rackham was. So he told us we need that book. We got the missing pages for the book, but we don't have the book. So we progress on. It's time to do a flying class. Looking forward to that. Thanks for clicking on the video and watching. I appreciate it. Please click the like button if it earns. And also subscribe so you get notified. And let's get back into it. from their broom first. Some Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. To read the star chart. She has no patience for time wasting. Mr. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> This'll take some getting used to. Yep, here we go. Ah, ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. All right, we got a speed button now. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! All right, let's get it. <laughs> This is rather fun! Oh, I clipped the top of the castle. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. 
Got to get this broom practice completed so I can buy myself a broom. No more running around. Oh. Trying to line oh. it up. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. What in the world is that? Got a Loch Ness monster in the sea or the lake. Starting to slowly get the controls. It's a little tricky trying to do three at once when you're not used to it. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Oh, no doubt. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Feels as if all these students are trying to get me in trouble. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Here we go, coming in hot. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. 
But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yep, always some student trying to get us on the bad foot of a teacher we just met. That's pretty much two in a row. Professor Sharp and now our flying instructor. Okay. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. We have some new quests up now. Ah, the Room of Requirement. Been looking forward to seeing when that was going to pop up. I'm guessing, yeah, Professor Weasley. So she'll be the one to introduce us to that. I, Sebastian, I'm going to go check out the Room of Requirement next. I really want to see what that's about. So we'll track that down. So that is in the astronomy wing. We can at least travel up that way to cut out wandering all over the, the castle. This game's been a lot of fun so far. I think I'll miss you. Really? I shan't miss you. Oh, stop. I'm trying to be serious. And then the way. werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves? Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1750. Crap, no. That page. <laughs> there we got it. Highly unlikely. Say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies. Get some more field guide pages. A lot of those to collect. What is that? Revelio. Well, we are in the astronomy wing, so that is fitting. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor.
What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, this one looks tricky. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Let's get it assigned. Oh, we got the wrong one lit up. There we go. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I've collected a lot of Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. The Evanesco spell is pretty cool. I think we gotta pull that out. Back here. It's not open. Oh, I thought it was going to open. Let me also. Oh, you just slide down. Ha! That's why we needed to levitate it. Because the chest is up here. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Well, this room of requirements is not what I thought it was. Is it? not helpful you worthless pile of tin this room's just full of it's like an old attic how do you get over there maybe you can work your way around Huh. 
keep moving on. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's we can go up again. Akio. Let me also. I don't think so this time. I think we just go under. I can hear the golden snitch, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Akio! There doesn't appear to be anything in this room. We probably have to go over there to get it. I thought maybe it'd break those. Let's see. Can we bring this over? This way more. Nope. Not really a good way in there. Unless there's a different way to get in. Oh, I'm gonna go around this way. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them, 
You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay, you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. I like that we got an owl sitting up there. So this room, now it's more of what I was thinking it would be is an, an open space. I don't have You'll it. find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay, another spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay, conjure a potting table. We have to swap out. There's conjure.
We have to select rugs. Got plenty of moonstone found in chests scattered throughout the world. Where's a potting table? I think we already have that. Potion station. Alright, let me see. Conjure a potting table, conjure a potion station. So we need both. Try to figure this out. Maybe this, the herbology will be... There we go. Scientific, potting table, botanical, eclectic. Okay, they're all small. It doesn't really matter which one. We'll just do the first one. Now we can move it around. Guess you have to have the right amount of room for it. There we go. All right, that one's done. Let's go to the potions. Try this one. Stick it on. Yeah, we'll put well it there. Done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. We have the room of requirement unlocked. I like the fact that we have a potion station now. And 
a potting station. We don't have to go to those classes to get anything. This makes it super easy. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Well, I definitely have way more than I need, I know that. Curious if I'm gonna try to get rid of one of those. These are just exits. There's only that chair and lamp in there. Rebellion. See if it can I unlock that? Oh, nice. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Switch that back. The walls and the floor. Conjure a wall decoration. We'll just pick something. Try the floor. Gotta do five of each. Let's see what else can we can we put in here? Statue. We already have one of those. We can add another one. Put one on each side. Grab a... Uh, we can do... They have holiday. That's funny. Get a chair. Let's see if I've already got one to match that. Grab a table. There we go. Okay, floor's done. Let's go back to the wall.
Can't get a statue. All right, one more. Quidditch board. One must be pretty big. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. We are getting our spell game up today. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay. Alter the style of an item, change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. I guess the other rug we changed didn't didn't allow us to Does it keep grabbing the rug? Ah, there it's got the table. Change the color. Change the size. Nicely done. <laughs> now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Wow. Change the size of the room. I 
think I like this. Central floor. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Professor Deke. Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Go with the first one. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. This room is awesome. I can't believe that thing opened up even more. So how do you get into it? <laughs> oh, it was this way that opened up. I'm guessing you can probably open the other side at some point as well. Yeah, this this is sweet. This is like a character at Hogwarts having their own New York penthouse. He's eating popcorn. Okay, quest board. I think now we have the thing with Sebastian. Okay, and I think that's a spell. Whoops. Confrigo. Fringo. Well, hopefully we'll get to learn a new spell on that. We have a we have the flight test that we can do. So definitely some more some more things on the board. I'm going to stop it here. And we'll jump back in with this next mission in the shadow of the Undercroft. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please click the like button if the video's earned it. And also please subscribe. That way you can get notified. And I hope. See you back on the next one. Thanks so much. Hope all is well. Take care.